You know how it says you aren't going to see this until next time? Well, it's next time. System reboot in progress. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. You were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Mm hmm. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, They're is not gonna a move disaster. You just can't watch them. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Oh no. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. It's probably because he's dead. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. How do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Which is broke. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix the spacer? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000! Ominent OS script runtime error! Arg! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold! They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. There are other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The Hedge Lab. What's the Hedge Lab? The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard, and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. 
Try to find the hedge lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those two ships. And try not to die out there. Oh, trust me, I won't die unless I turn my own Have an exponentially turns. great day! Bye, Burgle. Yeah, I'll use the biometric scanner when I'm ready to use the biometric scanner. In Big and Test 45, Category Non Organic, State 7189, Time 731 AM, Cell Volume 0 0.00064852 milliliters. Raw science power 76.76.5. I don't know if that's decijoules or whatever that is, but that it says DJ. Spacer input 914.32 megawatts. Subject a box of scabby devices, location Tully backyard, supervising scientist Dr. Wendell Tully, pre-test notes. After successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device, test 44, test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the devices. Upon beginning, subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results failure. Miniaturization is successful, but in beginning and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniature scabbies are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Gotta go the other direction. Forgot. Gotta go this way. If only chemistry class was this easy. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor, insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues. But, audentes fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle? I'd like to record some messages for my family, in case things do not go as planned. There we go. Just waiting for that to end. I didn't want to mess it up if there was other dialogue. I'm gonna go ahead and get... multi-story bases and both of those. Because I want to make sure I got the monthly exclusive ones. In here. Um, it's just another button to get in here. But. Um. 
Oh, no, you guys didn't get to see what it was. My bad. Burger burr. Need to make burger burr. Also need to craft a shovel. I'm just trying to get all the, uh... Exclamation points off of it. I'll need one of those and one of those anyway, but you have to use them in a workbench. Wish I could make that, but I haven't even made silk rope yet. Unfortunately. Okay, that's not done yet. But... We also just got a bunch of stuff, so... Where is that one door I wanted to show you guys? No, it's not in here. Maybe it's this way. Where is it? Right there. This door. You can't get by here unless you have the assistant manager key card, and that's in the black ant lab. I want to say it's the Black Ant Lab. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a long list. Can I analyze anything else now? Let's do spider venom. That's fine, I'll put that level with me up anyway, so... Tablet dagger and gill tube. Okay, let's go get some grub done. Let's go get some grubbies. Let's go get some grubbies. Won't they even respond yet? Alright, let me just go this way. Meals on wheels. Hello, Wicked. See these little moving things? Yeah. Let's see what's around. Got a new one. And murdered. Oh, it's a lot of gnats. Okay. Um, I can kill those up there. That's easy. If I could get up there and stay up there. hurts my eyeball so bad.
Valentine's could be this exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, my inventory is full. Oh. My poor eyeballs. Probably quite a bit of them over here. Go ahead and give up. Ah. I wouldn't suggest doing that if you're not if you're on a survival one. If you're not on a survival one, could you be my guest and do this. Rub time. These will be all done again, and then we can analyze the I think this had one. Let me do spider chunks. Where's the ladybug? Where'd the ladybug go? I heard the ladybug. Um, I honestly think that I'm gonna. I should probably start building my house now. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and build it. Shit. I'm gonna go ahead and build it up here. I'm just gonna cut down this weed stem first. I also gotta analyze a weed stem so I can make scaffold. Scaffolding and all those. And then once it becomes 845, I can do the bug rubber. Um, we're good at clicking 101 so we can. Get some stuff done. 
I might just make the house and then start recording again just so you guys can uh, see progress made and not just hours Where are you up to win? chest and put it right there Okay, now before I... end the episode, I'm going to go get that Oak Burgle banner. Because I don't know exactly where it is. Cheese trap! Kill those anyway, so <laughs> that's done. Meals on wheels. Grab some more mushies. Having a little peep. I see you. Now is your little baby with you is the deal. It goes without saying, but that is a big fight. Is the tree? Trees that way, okay. Um, sometimes there'll be nectar like this underneath these purple and yellow trees. I 
Whenever I come this way, I normally try to get them. And just, you know, this little yellow marker right there, that, that yellow beacon right there on this log, that's a banner. And the one at the oak tree is up on that bird bath that I was doing at night with the light on it. station. Um, local fauna report. Poor Sarah with her little red bite mark. If she hadn't come to me, I wouldn't have even known. Oh, and her sad eyes as she scuttled away. Yeah, scuttled over, cradling her tiny arm. Daddy, daddy, there's something nasty in the roots of the oak tree, she whimpered. The tangles, much too small to be explored as a full man, begged to be investigated in small form. But why did I go tonight? In the dark? Why did I choose a creepy, foggy backdrop to see what I just saw? And what is this feeling that I feel now other than my heart still racing? A feeling beyond... Erector Pelly turning my skin to that of a goose, beyond raising my hair or a shiver down my spine. It's more like my skin has resigned to the thought of being removed and the meat beneath that cowers in fears of being exposed to the crisp autumn air. The meat pulls my skin tight like a cowering child under a blanket hiding from ghosts and werewolves at the edge of the bed. The bones feel sorry for the meat for the cold winds would be so brief. Like a worm sucked from a hook, it would all vanish into the drooling maw in the blink of an eye, and then my own unblinking eyes would rattle in their dark little sockets above my shivering jaw. A quivering stack of brittle bones collapses and scatters in the howling breeze. The feeling is terror, I guess. But what can we do? Like the gray wolves of Yellowstone, these apex predators are an essential cog in a well-oiled machine. Remove the wolves and the elk run wild in stripped land. Goodbye flora turns into goodbye fauna. One simple change can disrupt the entire ecosystem. Just leave them alone and they'll leave you alone, right? Um, probably not... Probably not. I'll go ahead and get that torch upgrade. Um. Thistle needles. Oh, come on. You, you can let me up. I'm just gonna grab as many of these as I can. I don't normally use arrows, but... There's no point in not getting them since you have to analyze them. Oh, hello, where we are.
Okay. Spiders were bad enough when they were the size of my pinky toe. Um, oh, I'm thirsty. Well, I can be thirsty. Scooter. Oh. A little less better. There's a milk bottle behind you, but I'm not gonna be able to get that because I don't have a level two hammer. I don't need to go in there yet. Oh, I should probably go in there so I can get some water. Where's the water? Is it this way? What would Dr. Tikatoni do? No. I'm looking for the water. Probably already went right by it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's your biometric scanner. Do. This morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The There's. Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. See, these are the little banners. Or flags, I should say. They're around everywhere. That's a lot of corn bits. Killed them all right here. I wonder where they were gone. Would they have rolled? Well, I guess they rolled.
grab some more acorns real quick. Oh, hey, ladybug. Now I just have to die, go back to the base, and then build the first floor of the house and just throw everything, one of everything in there, I suppose. Hi little ladybug. See, I love ladybugs too much. Bug trap and nifty needle. Stuff grab and grab them out. Woo! Ooh, firefly headlamp. Weevil shield. Weevil shield. I need raw weevil meat. Okay. You want raw weevil meat? Fine. I'll get you raw weevil meat. Nice snooter, dude. <laughs> Where'd it go? Gonna have a look around. What are you guys possibly trying to eat? Oh, you're trying to eat a little aphid. Leave aphid alone. Yeah, I gotta get clay. Mm. Damn, give me a plate of this. I think now I'll be able to do it, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to go check. shield. Oh, I need four. I need four of them. Well, I don't have enough inventory space for that. Hold on. I'm gonna hopefully deposit a bunch of stuff. Do not have enough space. Hey there, buddy. We will come back. Hello, book. 
Oh, a crow feather. Gosh darn it. Um <sighs> Is there anything else I can analyze? No. You got it. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna go put some more stuff away if I can. Oh, hello, crow feather. What do you have to be over here for? Okay, and then over here was one meat and two. Okay, now I should be able to do it. Should be able to make it now. Well, besides crude rope. I think it said I need three crude rope. And oh. oh my goodness gracious. Need to grub hide and they're up in this chest. Travel Gulch. Um, we'll do that after. Let's sleep. And then I'm gonna end this episode and then build my... Build the first floor to the base and then start recording again. If that uh, makes any food. sense at all. Uh, uh. Well, after I start putting, uh... Food on there first. See you guys when I'm done building the first half of the base.